Okay, y'all. I'm back. Part two. Part two. Oh, we, we, we was up here talking and the thing had went off. That's it. I was like, see, I need, I, y'all, pray for you, girl. Because this, this camera right here, it's okay, but I need to go back and get my other one. The one that I had at first. But y'all, Oh, I was saying that, what was I saying about the spinach? I prefer the spinach than the uh, the lettuce and the, the regular lettuce. Which one do you prefer? No. The spinach? You had brought a thing, of, um, a bag of salad too. Yeah. And you haven't even ate it yet. Okay. I guess it's got me hooked before it gets too late. Not, not, it's not over here. With the whole throat. Here y'all. I have some spinach. Wait a minute. Have some spinach, y'all. Y'all are welcome. Welcome, welcome. Y'all have some water. And y'all are welcome. Welcome, welcome. Water is good for you. Uh -uh. She don't need no more.
thing babe could do much off in here. Well. <laughs> I don't know. Put a towel on Huh? I just put a towel on it. No, because then it'd be too mercy. Yep. No, Mama. Well, I was just trying to see something, y'all. I wasn't trying to. <laughs> But y'all, my YT fam, we pray you all enjoyed this mukbang. And I think y'all. Spaghetti and meatballs and a spinach salad with garlic toast. We pray you all enjoyed it and we thank y'all for joining. Um, Until the next time, my YT fam, remember, keep on smiling, keep on shining, bright like a diamond. That's right. Don't let nobody, I mean nobody, steal your joy. Yeah, keep you your head up, keep on moving. And when the devil, when Satan tries to steal your joy, say, Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And keep on moving, keep on doing you. Um, and we love y'all. There's nothing you all can do about it but to love us back. Amen. That yeah, is right. And be looking out for another exercise video. Because I am going to get my workout again. Baby's going to make sure. That's right. Because <laughs> I'm not giving up. Mm. I mean, I know sometimes it might feel like, you know, that... I want to give up and stuff, but I can't give up, you know. But, but if we could, if we put ourselves on something, or you, you want to see the better results, you want to see the results at the end, keep on pushing. That's right. I don't care how tired you get. Don't give up. I don't care how woe well out you be. Try to make fit. Try to fit in to say, hey, if I'm on a weight loss journey, I'm going to fit in. I'm going to put this, like, I'm going to exercise, but I'm going to 
I'm going to fit it in to where I can exercise. Do it like that, y'all. The ones that are on a, on a weight loss journey. Drink, drink water. Eat healthy. We ain't got to be drinking all these sodas and, and stuff like that. Sodas is bad for your health. It really is because I have a friend. And we pray for her. And if y'all could pray for her. Babe knows who I'm talking about. Yep. She comes to my my channel sometime. Her name is Pam. Pamela. So keep Pamela in your prayers because man, it just Y'all don't give up on me. When I look at her, babe seen her today. It just like breaks it breaks your heart. And I know we all gotta go through that. We all gotta go down that road. But when you look at when you look at her, it's like Hey. But she told me on the phone. And she told she told me and babe. She said she said she said make sure y'all take care of y'all kidneys. She said that <coughs> that she wished she said she could have took care of her kidneys more better. But when you go out and you buying sodas after sodas after sodas, babe knows what I'm talking about. It will get to you in the long run. Sodas will mess up your kidneys. Any kind of carbonated water will do it. No. And that's the reason why I started praying to God. Because as I was, as me and babe was drinking them sodas, all it does is just bloat you up. It bloats you up. And it makes you look like you done had some steroids off in your arms. Didn't it, babe? Right. Like, sodas, I mean, I, I looked at my arm one time. I was like, my arm is big. Because I was drinking all that, that carbonated, nothing but Dr. Pepper, um, Pepsi, root beer. Babe was getting like that too. He was kind of. That's right. You know, how was you kind of stocky built? Yeah. I kind of moved back to where I started from. And we got to wake up, people. We have to wake up. Sometimes you got to push them plates away and the taste away. You know, I know Kool-Aid and, and stuff and sodas, it might taste good, but you know what? In the long run, it's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt you. And, uh, you know, me and babe, we used to be like that. That's the best. This is the best right here. This is what brought in the world, the water. And I know sometimes, you know, like when we eat, we want a soda. Because babe used to ask me, babe, he said, big baby, what you want? And I said, well, what you gonna, what you gonna drink? Baby tell me what he's gonna drink. He said, I'm gonna drink soda. So, <laughs> Me and babe, we, we was going together on that. But I came to to realize it's time for me to make a change. That's right. Before it's too late. Mm -hmm. Because when you start drinking sodas after sodas, your arm get big. It makes you all, like, you can't hardly breathe. That's right. But now, 
Since I've been drinking this, look how I be doing this. What? You know, I'm breathing. You know, I I could breathe. Like I ain't got a whole lot of pressure on my heart because sodas it can it can bust your heart. And I was like, uh uh. -huh. Started praying to God like, Lord, help me. Help me to cut cut back. Babe cut back. Oh, yes. Because Babe was kind of, he was getting kind of stocky. Mm -hmm. Like right up in here. Mm -hmm. Like he'd been lifting weights or something. Like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now. But now look at him. Look at me now. Amen. And I thank God. Y'all pay attention. Don't take nothing for granted. Until you try it yourself. And you'll be amazed and what I God train, can do for you. And I train my eating habit. You know. You know. The kind of spaghetti that I cook, it was the weak kind. You know. You know. And have like a have like a like a spinach salad to go with. If you don't want the lettuce, then get some spinach and just start eating healthy, exercise, and put it in in it put fit it in into your daily schedule. Like when you get home from work or whatever time y'all gotta work, go to a gym. Exercise. Walk on the treadmill. Because me and babe, tomorrow, me and babe, we're going to go try to find us a, um, you know, I'm going to go to, the, supposed to be like a, a gym. And they got treadmills. I'm going to go try to see if I could go find another gym and go walk on the treadmill. You know, I know I got my my exercise in there, my exercise equipment, and I'm supposed to start working on your treadmill until me and babe, you know, we get us a, you know, a house where I can get a treadmill. But y'all, you know, I just want to motivate somebody out there. I'm not trying to tell everybody they don't have to do what I'm doing, but just do what you have to do. You know, make yourself drink water. If you're not drinking water, start off with one bottle and just pray to God, Lord, help me to continue drinking water. Lord, help me to continue drinking water. Start off day by day. You might not like the taste, but I'm telling y'all, babe would tell you, it took me a while to try to you know, to try to drink water just every day. I had to gradually, gradually drink water. And now I love my water. Don't get me wrong. Don't I, babe? That's right. But sometimes you have to train yourself back. This is like training a, a baby to learn how to walk. Amen. That's the way it is about water. Train yourself to start drinking water. If you haven't already, start training yourself. And just say, I know I can do this. It might taste funny, but I know I can do this. I got to stay away from sodas. I got to stay away from tea. But I know I can do this. I can. But now, I can drink water just like this. And look at babe. But I just want to give some good advice out there. Y'all try it sometimes. 